Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it clinical examination session kindly begin. So into the examination hall, I'll wash my hands. Uh, hello, good morning. My candidate number is 39124. Uh, I'm, I'm a surgical doctor here. I've been asked to examine you today. Uh, so before I proceed, can I please confirm your name and age? Yes, I'm Thomas, 56 years old. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Thomas. Uh, so I'm going to be examining your tummy today. And this would include me looking at it, feeling, and also uh, listening to your tummy with my stepho. I'll be very gentle with you. Uh, is that all right? Yes. Uh, for the examination, I would need, I would require you to, uh, I would have to expose you and I would also need to remove your uh, wound dressing. Is that okay with you? Okay, but for wound dressing, consider. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, do you, uh, can I, uh, do I need to remove the oxygen mask for you or is it all right if it is there on you right now? You have to do the examination so you decide. Okay. All right then. So I'll now start uh, looking at the, uh, I'll now move to the uh, abdomen. I'll, I'll inspect the abdomen from the sides from uh, from, uh, from above and I will uh, see, uh, I'll inspect to see if there is any uh, scar mark, if there is any swelling, if there is any, um, if there is any, um, a change in the skin lesions and I will also look at the wound to see if there is any uh, er erythema or if there is any um, discharge from the wound and then I will uh, start by um, uh, first uh, test, uh, check the temperature of the, all the nine quadrants to see if there is any abnormality then I'm going to start with soft palpation as soon as I place my hand, uh, so I'm going to be now starting to uh, check your, uh, check, uh, feel your uh, tummy, all right? So yes. as soon as I place my hand, um, the patient, patient will, with me. yes, yes. Um, um, I'm sorry, uh, I would like to now uh, stop my examination and continue by uh, managing the patient through a critical care and surgical patient management protocol through ABCD approach. I would like to also ask for help if that's okay. Yes. Uh, can I proceed? Okay. Yes, so now I'm going to start with, uh, first I'm going to check the patient's temperature on the forehead, then I'm going to check the patient's uh, uh, lower palpebral conjunctiva and the tongue to see if there's any dehydration. I'm going, since the patient was speaking to me, so I will I will consider that the patient's airway is intact. I will assist the patient's breathing by, for, uh, by inspecting the patient's chest movement if there is any uh, asymmetrical chest movement if there is any uh, uh, and if there is any use of the respiratory muscles uh, then uh, also if there is any central sinuses and I'm going to um, uh, check the pa palpate the patient's chest expansibility and I'm going to percuss the patient's chest to see uh, hear the percussion note and also I'm going to auscultate uh, the base of the, uh, the chest and uh, both the lung fields and the base of the lungs then I'm going to Assess the patient's, uh, and I'm going to uh, now uh, uh, assess the patient's rate and depth of uh, uh, respiratory rate. And then I'm going to move and assess the circulation. Over here, I will check the patient's pulse. I will check the patient's blood pressure and uh, uh, exclude any signs of dehydration of sunken eyes or any um, uh, or, uh, pale, uh, pale uh, uh, conjunctiva. Then I will go for, um, I will look but for no any congested rate. neck veins. And no, uh, no uh, raised neck veins, and uh, then I will heart oscillate sounds? the uh, heart, oscillate the heart on all four uh, uh, places, and also uh, exclude if there is any murmur. Then I would go for uh, to check the patient's uh, uh, general uh, uh, general um, assessment, uh, yes. assessment at conscious level. Uh, since the patient is able to communicate with me, I will uh, take that the patient is. ABPU is intact yes. and alert. Then I will uh, look at the patient's um, uh, cough. I will I will uh, press on the cough muscles to exclude if the patient is having any pain in the cough or uh, exclude pulmonary ball uh, DVT. Then I would go for uh, then I would check the patient's drug chart to see if the patient has received adequate analgesia and a proper flu, uh, hydration. And I would also ex uh, see if the patient is wearing um, any thrombo uh, uh, thrombo embol deterrent stockings then i would go uh, then i would send some uh, bloods and uh, that is i would send blood uh, blood glucose level uh, then a uh, complete blood count urea creatinine electrolyte a coagulation profile and i would check the patient's chart to see if there is uh, if there is an ecg and chest x-ray and um, uh, then i would um, what do you want to see I, uh, on the ecg of the patient i would like to exclude if there is atrial fibrillation. fibrillation very good yeah 
Uh, then I would like to now, uh, I would now refer to my uh, consultant surgeon. I would I thank the patient. I help the patient to, uh, 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 yeah, with the um, redressing and wash my hands. Okay, patient was already mind up. All right, can you summarize your examination now, please? So I've just examined um, uh, Mr. Thomas, a 56-year-old man who is on his sixth post-operative day following left hemicolectomy, who is presented with shortness of breath on an abdominal pain that is radiating to the tip of the left shoulder. On examination, the patient is slightly, um, uh, the patient's temperature is raised and uh, is I feel slightly feeble. There is uh, there is severe generalized abdominal pain and also uh, the pain, there is there is no central cyanosis there is no signs of dehydration and there is a, a symmetrical chest movements uh, the lung uh, uh, their uh, lung uh, heart sounds are, are normal and uh, there is good air entry by a bilateral good air entry and uh, the patient is um, uh, conscious and alert and um, and the and the wound uh, the so wound, what the are your pain. yes what are your differential diagnosis of the patient so i um, my differential diagnosis would be probably this patient has anastomotic uh, is having anastomotic leakage and um, uh, following the uh, 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 leading to sepsis there is also i would also like to keep in mind pulmonary embolism myocardial infarction subdiaphragmatic abscess how do you plan to manage this patient? Management of this patient would follow critical care and surgical patient management protocol through ABCD yes. approach. I would like to consult with my consultant surgeon, keep the patient nothing for oral, start with intravenous fluid resuscitation, urinary catheterization to monitor the intake output chart, and um, also um, and intravenous broad spectrum antibiotic uh, following the local trust policy. And I would like to do some uh, investigation and repeat the investigations and uh, do a chest X-ray, do a CTPA to exclude a pulmonary embolism. I would like to do a CT contrast with a gastrographic enema to exclude leaking and uh, anastomotic uh, and uh, anastomosis. And antibiotics. And yes, yeah. and antibiotics and painkillers and intravenous analgesia according to the WHO analgesic letter. Do you think patient would need an uh, urgent laparotomy? Uh, yes, the patient would need urgent laparotomy because the patient could develop peritonitis. And uh, this, uh, so we would go for urgent laparotomy. To do? Uh, and we would go for uh, we'd go for uh, a Hartman's uh, we'll do Hartman's procedure with a surgical right. patent, uh, uh, yeah. a surgical toileting. Yes, a patent toileting. Right. Yeah. Uh, did you, uh, when you were noticing that patient had uh, oxygen mask on, did you make sure that uh, increasing oxygen requirement was uh, actually helping patient? Uh, yes, I should have. Uh, it is, it is, uh, because the patient is, yeah, it yeah. is. Because when you asked me in the, in the beginning that should I leave it on, then I asked you to decide it yourself. So good, you've covered everything. Yes, I hope so. Yes, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. This is just one oxygen pass by step that you have covered now. And yeah, everything. Good. Let's see Thank what you. we have to add. Good. Thank you.